here's your latest African news. Africa wide, AU eyeing reconfiguring AMISOM to continue Somalia mandate till 2027. Amid funding challenges, the African Union will deploy a reconfigured force of the continental body's peacekeeping outfits in Somalia for a proposed five year period after the expiry of the current mandate at the end of this year. Somalia and key donors have agreed on the agenda to begin working towards determining the reconfigured force of the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM. AU's peace and security experts are now working on things like threat assessment, mission requirements for both uniformed and non-combat personnel to inform the reconfigured force strength and funding needs. Reconfiguration of AMISOM is the option the AU has chosen for the future of the mission. Mali. Mali's former interim president and PM released from house arrest. Former Malian interim president Bandao and his prime minister Mokta Oyuane have been freed from house arrest by the authorities who deposed them back in May. A committee monitoring the post-coup transition has now confirmed. Their detention by military officers in May marked Mali's second coup since the overthrow of President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita the previous August. Aides Tundao and Oiwane had indicated that the two leaders had been kept under house arrest after their removal. ECOWAS said on Friday that the two should enjoy all the rights that are associated with their roles as the former president and the former prime minister. Africa wide. AU names Obasanjo High Representative for Horn of Africa. The African Union, the AU, has appointed Nigeria's former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, as its High Representative for the Horn of Africa's region. The High Representative will intensify engagements with all relevant political actors and stakeholders in the region towards entrenching durable peace and stability within the Horn of Africa. The chairperson of the AU Commission highly appreciated Obasanjo for accepting what the AU said was for this strategic political assignment in the collective interest of the continental bloc. The former Nigerian leader brings with him a very rich political experience and impeccable credentials of keen commitment to the lofty ideals of Pan-Africanism and regional integration as well as cooperation. Also, onto that, a deep knowledge of the current situation in the Horn of Africa region, a statement said. Lesotho and Rwanda. Lesotho and Rwandan police forces sign cooperation agreement. Rwanda National Police and Lesotho Mounted Police Services have signed a memorandum of understanding to formalize their cooperation in various policing matters. The cooperation pact was signed in Kigali between the Inspector General of Police, Dan Munyuza, and his Lesotho counterpart, Commissioner of Police, Holomo Molibeli. This was part of the bilateral meeting between RNP and LMPS held at the former's general headquarters. The signed pact outlines key areas of cooperation, including partnership against terrorism, organized and transnational crimes, capacity building and community policing, exchange of information and expertise, as well as training opportunities and expertise development, among others. DRC. Congo prepares to assume OPEC's rotating presidency. Congo will take over the organization of petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, rotating presidency in 2022, succeeding neighbors Angola. The oil group secretary general, Mohamadi Barkindo, was in the Central African country this week, where he met with the country's leaders. With 2.9 billion barrels of oil reserves and 10 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, the Congo is driving development across the entire value chain. In recent years, the country has seen a drop in oil revenues due, among other things, to production cuts that were imposed by OPEC amid concerns that producers like Total and Eni are cheating the country. To broaden its tax base now, the government has cancelled tax and customs exemptions that were granted to oil companies for more than 30 years, a move that was welcomed by activists in the country. Congo is the third largest oil producer in Sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria and Angola, with an estimated production of 336,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Nigeria. Tributes pour in for legendary Nigerian singer Victor Waifu. After 80 years of a decorated life, Nigerian legend, legendary musician, artist and scholar Victor Waifu died at his hometown of Benin. 
the music icon whose tracks Joromi and Mummy Water were hits till his demise, was a multi-instrumentalist, a great lyricist, a melody maker, and a renowned virtual artist. Uwaifo, popularly known as the Guitar Boy, was the first Nigerian musician to earn a national award, member of the Order of the Niger, M-O-N. He was also one who served as Commissioner for Arts, Culture and Tourism in Edo State of Nigeria between 2001 and 2003. President Muhammadu Buhari, in a statement, acknowledged the glory that the late Uwaifo brought to Nigeria through his arts. In March 2021, he marked his 80th birthday, which was turned into a carnival to celebrate his contributions, not just to music, but also to the creative arts. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our daily news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch our new show, Startup Africa, every Thursday on our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And remember, you can also leave your suggestions of topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below.